Hey, it's Matt here with Mage, and today I'm excited to talk about the Mage DuckDB integration. Um, so some of this will be existing functionality, some of it will be new functionality, but uh, the entire Mage team, the entire DuckDB team is just really excited by what we're doing, and we want to share uh, and let everybody know what you can do with Mage and what you can do with DuckDB. Um, and so if you're not familiar, DuckDB is an in-memory columnar database. It's open source, um, and that's really exciting because a lot of uh, OLAP databases like that typically tend to be closed source and difficult to work with, like BigQuery or Redshift. Um, but with this uh, database in Mage, there's some really cool stuff you can do. So uh, currently, you can read and write from DuckDB sources, um, and uh, that just means you can use R SQL or Python blocks to store and load data, um, and that makes it super easy. It's kind of like a one-click thing. Uh, you can write your data to uh, a, this really fast database um, and read it in as well. You can also do that remotely, and we'll talk a little bit more about some options there uh, in a bit. Um, so something that's cool about Mage is that any data source is a streaming data source, any destination is a streaming destination. And so what that means is that um, you can also stream data directly to a DuckDB database. So say you had a Kafka topic or something that's outputting the stream, you could fetch that stream, uh, process it using Mage, make, maybe make some light transformations, and then write it to your DuckDB data source. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we can stream to any data source in Mage that just comes out of the box, and that's uh, kind of what we expect. Um, third, right, we've built in support for the DBT DuckDB library, and what that means is that you can orchestrate your DBT workflows on top of uh, a DuckDB database. And so Mage has full support for DBT within your data engineering pi pipeline. So using Mage, you could implement a Python transformation, a SQL transformation, um, and then even a DBT model or a series of models um, inside of that same pipeline. So you get a complete lineage of your data transformation of what's going on um, with your workflow. And then um, you can orchestrate that on top of DuckDB output it to a DuckDB database. And so that's really powerful. Um, and we want to share that with you. Um, and lastly, uh, the Mother Duck team has done some pretty awesome uh, stuff. And DuckDB natively integrates really well with Mother Duck sources. Um, and so Mage comes out of the box with full Mother Duck support as well. That means you can pull in databases that live um, in a Mother Duck instance and you can write to Mother Duck as well. And that's something we want to make sure you know about because Mother Duck's a pretty awesome product. It's built on top of some really cool tech in DuckDB. Um, and yeah, this is all available um, as of today in Mage. I believe any version past 0.9.28 will include DuckDB functionality. Um, the complete suite of functionality that I'm sharing here will be in any version after 0.9.62, I believe. Um, so I'm Matt with Mage, uh, and this is our new Mother Duck uh, DuckDB offering. You should give it a shot today. Uh, check out Mage, head over to our docs, drop in our Slack channel. We'd love to help you out. Until next time, peace.